Hey guys, this is JB3, and we are back with another episode of FIFA 19 Career Mode Youth Edition featuring Morecambe FC. And in this episode, we will move along into the month of February. We'll again play Tottenham for the third time in just a few short weeks, but this time it's in league play, not in the FA Cup. And then we'll move on and take on Man United, again playing them in just a short little while as well. Played them in the FA Cup, and then we also played them a little earlier in the league right at the end of December, so playing them once a month. Hopefully we can grab another win. Played really well against them in the Cup, but that was probably their Cup squad, to be fair. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Hopefully we can pick up six points. It would be much needed, and that would really catapult us right up the league. But before we get into the game, we'll do a squad report now that the transfer window has closed. It's Austin Awazi up two, Sarik up two with an exciting prospect. Lacante up three, potential to be special. Adebola plus three, has no potential, he's probably reached just about his max without any training, but still 81 is pretty good for him, considering he's one of our first players. Billy Hughes up three, an exciting prospect. Aldaharni up two, 79. Miro up three, an exciting prospect. Mun up three, an exciting prospect. Fuentes up four, has potential to be special. Vigara up four, an exciting prospect. Lacero up five, has potential to be special. Magnuson up two, showing great potential. Romano up three, showing great potential. Kumi has potential to be special up eight. We've been giving him a lot of training to get him into the starting lineup. Burns up three. He does, I think he's an exciting prospect, but his contract is up in three months. And guys, we do have a lot of center midfielders. Let me know if you guys think we should renew this contract. I'll leave it up to you in the comments to let me know. And then we'll move on. It'll be Decker showing great potential up three. Zayatev, an exciting prospect up five. Durson up four, has potential to be special. Atchampong up two, showing great potential. Bayumi up three but will be leaving the club or actually he won't be leaving the club both those broke down so we'll have to see what happens with him ross up four an exciting prospect lekanen up two who's on loan aguera up three on loan Oliveira up three with a contract expiring i don't think we'll be renewing that one he just doesn't really have the potential to really do anything for us niall o'grady up three still on loan at orlando city Cortez up three, still on loan. Niles Lund up two, has potential to be special. Lucas Park, 65 overall, no improvement. He's really maxed out there at the 65. Sarne, 65, an exciting prospect. Karichi has potential to be special up three, or up two, and that will do it for our squad report. So we'll get into the game against Tottenham. It'll be a tough one. We didn't play well against them in the FA Cup, but we'll roll out the starting lineup here, see if we can do a little bit better. We're gonna have to stop down, stop their big three in Deli Alley, Kane, and Son. So hopefully we can keep their offense at bay, get them on the counter, and put some goals in of our own. And we'll get this game underway. Deli Alley gets around Mun. He'll drive in, takes the shot, and Awazi gets a hand to it. Sends it out to a corner early in this game. A good shot by Deli, who puts a rocket behind it. Adebola's foot just not long enough, but Awazi will send it away. Vergara gets it right up to Sark. He'll get it into Park. He'll push it along, sneaks it through to Romano. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and he puts it in. And the pizza man puts in another one for the season. As he gets past the defense, Park lays it off perfectly, and that's why we keep him in the starting lineup. No one's better than him at slipping it through, getting it on the run, right through the defense. Sark gets right to Park, he puts the back to the defense. Oh, a nice little back heel, and Romano comes in and taps it home for another goal, and Morecambe FC up early, 1-0 on Tottenham. Vergara moves it along to Kumi, who will push up. Looks to get it through. Gets it to Park, who's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He puts it in! Park gets behind the defense and gets a goal of his own. And he just won't quit. The man who can't get anywhere past 65 overall is still putting goals for Markham FC. And it is 2-0 here against Tottenham. Kumi slips past a perfect pass and gets it into Park. Park one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and just drills it after fighting off the defense all over him. 
Gets it past him and puts it in for another one. Morecambe FC go 2-0. Out it goes wide to Sun. He can't get there. it. Kumi's there and Delhi will answer right back with a header of his own. Kumi just couldn't get there. Vergara lost him. And Lacante couldn't close down the long cross before he got it off. Sun sends in a beautiful pass. And just when we thought we had a little bit of spacing, we concede right away, right after that, right off the next kickoff, and it goes into the back of the net. And it will be 2-1 Morecambe FC up over Tottenham. Kumi drives up, and it'll be the final touch of the first half. It'll be Morecambe FC headed to halftime, up 2-1 on Tottenham. Mine will move it up through the middle of the field, looks to get it ahead, looks to get it to Sarek. He's going to run onto it, takes a touch, puts it on, and it goes into the back of the net. It's 3-1 Morecambe FC. Everyone's finding the goal today as Sarek. Gets a one little touch, gets one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. The keeper gets a big piece of it, but it still bounces in and finds the net. We're finding good runs here, getting behind the defense. A big hand to it from the keeper, but Sarek is going to find the net and will go up with a two-goal lead again. It'll be 3-1, Morecambe FC. Vacante moves it up and gets it on to Munn. He'll slip it through to Romano. Looks to get it through and does get it to Sarek. He takes the shot and puts it in again. It's Sarek with his second goal. And it'll be Morecambe FC going up 4-1. Really laying it on thick for Tottenham. This has to be the part of their cup squad because there's no way we should be dominating this much. But we are and we'll take the points and goals where we can get them as we need as many as possible. And Sarek beats the goalkeeper to find the net again. Puts Morecambe FC up 4 to one and now he is just one goal shy of 50 on his career so we'll make three changes it will be romano out for lucero miro in four park and durson in four mun vergara fights back and breaks up the play had a bowler can't control and turns it over gets it to kane and awazi gets a hand to it and knocks it out Kumi gets the ball and tries to move it up. Gets it to Sarek and gets it out wide to Hughes. Hughes will push in. Tries to loft it to Lacero who takes a shot and it's just knocked away. Lacero struggling to find the net. Unlucky there to get it saved. Puts it right off the volley and it's knocked out for a corner. And that'll be the final touch of the game. It'll be Morecambe FC all over Tottenham on the road. We'll go up 4-1 and take the victory. And we'll move on here and get the three points. It's a big one here at Tottenham Stadium. It'll be Morecambe FC, eight shots, seven on target. Really never threatened us. Romano gets a 9.6, Awazi a 7.3, Lacante 7.6, Adabola 8.1. Vergara 8.6, Kumi 8.6, Lucero 6.5, Dursin a 5.4, Sarek 9.5, Aldaharni 8.1, Miro 6.0, Billy Hughes 7.5, Park 9.2, Mun 8.9, Romano 9.6, and that'll do it for us here against Tottenham. So we have another transfer offer for Bayumi. We will accept this one for Cardiff City, $2.7 million, and see if we can move him out at the end of the season. So we'll get into the game against Manchester United. Hopefully we can play as well as we did against Tottenham, get that offense going, find the back of the net, and pick up three points against one of the bigger clubs in Man United. And we'll get this game underway. Vergara gets it out to Adebola. He'll move it up, sends it wide to Lecante. Who pushes it forward, gets it to Aldaharni. Aldaharni right onto Romano. Can he fight off Pogba? He does. Drives into the box, holds, lays it to Park, who takes a shot and puts it in. Oh, what a beautiful shot from Park, who finds the net again for another goal. And it's Morecambe FC up 1 0. Romano with the assist, lays it perfectly to Park, who puts it in. We'll take a look at that one as it is an absolute beauty for number 55 for Park. Romano fights off Pogba beautifully, gets a little space, sends it in just a perfect little one-time 
Little tapper from Park just whoop, right into the back of the net. Goes right past De Gea and Morkum FC up 1-0. Out wide to Lacante, who has it on the wing. He's going to push up and look to try and split the defense. Can he find any space here? He can't. He'll have to hold. Lacante in the middle gets it up to Sark, who quickly turns his man, tries to fight off, and lays it off to Mun. Mun, with good ball control here at the top of the box, gets it onto Park. Park has to hold, lays it to Sark, who takes the strike off. It goes. Oh, Romano just swinging the leg. Just swing the leg, Romano. He's right there and couldn't get the rebound. Martial in the middle gives it off to Pogba. Who sends it out? A cross goes in. Kumi heads it down. Sarik taps it along, and that'll be the final touch of the first half. We'll survive the late offense from Man U, and we'll go into halftime up one nil off the goal from Park. The Conte gets it to Park, leaves it to Sarik, who drives, and De Gea will make the save. A good opportunity for him to put one home, but it'll go out for a corner kick. The ball goes long, Adebola will fight back to try and beat Lukaku as it goes across. It'll go long, Rashford keeps it in, Awazi keeps it in, oh, punched away, and Lakate just gets rid of it. What a play by the whole defense coming together to try and keep that ball out on Marcus Rashford. It'll go out for a corner kick. Out wide to Rashford. Kumi can't beat him. It goes in for a cross, and it goes wide of the net. A great opportunity for Man U right at the death, but they can't send home the header. It goes wide of the net, and Awazi wouldn't have been able to get there, but we survive. And that'll do it, though. Final touch of the game. Morkum FC beat Man U 1-0 here at home at the Globe Arena, and we grab another three points. What a game for Morkham FC. We control the ball. Six shots, three on target. Only that one last chance for Man U really threatened us. Romano with an 8.2. Hughes a 7.0. Al Harney 6.9. Sark a 7.1. Mun a 7.7. Awazi 7.3. Lacante 7.5. Adabola 7.2. Vergara 7.3. Kumi 7.2. Dursen 6.2. Lacero 6.4. Miro 6.2. Park an 8.2. And that'll do it for us here at the Globe Arena. So guys, that'll do it for us here in this episode. And we win both games and see ourselves into seventh position. We may have only moved up of one spot, but we see ourselves dangerously close to European competition here in February. Only three points out of fifth place behind Wolves and only five points behind Man U and Chelsea. So it's going to be a close one down the line here. If we can keep our form like we have in the past two games and we play like that, we should be able to win. But guys, that'll do it for us here in this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. This way you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. The support has been unbelievable. <clears throat> And if you guys want to make any changes to the team, make sure to drop it down in the comments. And until next time, guys, have a good one.